Hi friend. Today we're going to finish up the harmonic percolator that we built. Uh, we're going to button it all up and we're going to try it out with a couple different transistors. If that sounds good. Join me. Okay. What I did was I used my desoldering braid and I took this 500K potentiometer out of the harmonic percolator circuit. I ordered some 250Ks and I think that's gonna work out a little bit better. Uh, the 500 was just too much. It got really strong and wooly. You could turn it down halfway, but I think it's just gonna work better with the voltage divider working across the 250K instead. Let's try it, and if we don't like it, we can always replace it again. I also got my dual gang potentiometers in, so we're gonna put those in as well. Let's get this in first. Sorry about the mess. I had like three different pedals on the bench over the weekend. It'd be nice if it stayed in, huh? I just did not get a chance to clean my mess up yet. After this one, for sure. What I like to do is get one of these barely in there and I make sure it's in all the way and I melt it and push it in so it always gets in there just right and then I can solder the other ones in all right let's get this I bought 10 10 K's and 50 K's but I'm going to stick with the 10 K's First of all, because they're linear, I think that'll work better. I always break these tabs off. Perfect. Now this does not have a base on it. Okay, see, we're gonna put this in. I found a nice germanium PNP that I was gonna try in here. And well, to be honest, I just found it rather mediocre. So at the moment, here it is right here. It's a uh, some kind of unbranded probably out of a japanese radio from back in the 50s but i found it not to sound great in this circuit so i just put a general pnp uh, silicon transistor in right here i did leave the 500k in the output but i figured to give it a little bit more say a little less of the signal going to ground but this circuit is ready to put in back into the case so let's go ahead and try it. Okay, now that we have this LED soldered in, we gotta make sure it goes into the holder first before we press everything into place. There we go, perfect. Let me see something. I don't think that LED is, oh yeah, that's right. That's set correctly. Let's put this back in again gonna have to push a little LED sleeve in there but I like how those these little three millimeter LED uh, bezels work they're very nice Oop. yeah that did it it's right there on the surface and we'll screw all these in together or fortunately I gotta take it back out because I forgot the little washer that goes inside underneath the switch and if you don't put those in Sometimes you can put some stress on this shaft, not the shaft, but the uh, outer bit, whatever it's called, and you could pull it right apart. I did that in the uh, test box build. A lot of times I like to uh, put these in the box first and then solder them because they'll line up better once they're bolted in. And then when you solder them, they'll be uh, fast into place. There. I think that's pretty good. And the only thing we'll have to do is put the foot switch in. I gotta find this one. I, I lost the washer. I know I have it here. Ah, it's in here. Never took it out of the case. There we go. Finally, got that in. Something is definitely wrong here. These are not going to fit 
underneath. I'm just gonna bend these transistors over a little bit. Hope we don't knock them out of alignment or pull them out of the socket. I'm just gonna wire this. And remember, always put the nut through around, always put the nut around the power leads before you put this in. So then you're going to solder this and it'll be there so you don't have to take it back apart again. Let's get this put in there. I think I need a little bit more insulation stripped off of these. That's much better. The long one's always the positive on these. It's the outer. I'll snip a little bit off of that. Then we're going to stick this in here and make sure it doesn't touch anything electrical. Like that. We're going to bolt this on there. There, see? Usually have to get the pliers out. So I'm on those pliers and tighten that a little bit better. I don't have to go too tight though, because it is only plastic pieces. I'm gonna tuck this wire out of the way. All right, I think we should probably plug this in and try it. Okay, I got this all soldered up. Got the asymmetry tensiometer in, and I changed this from a 500 to a 250. When this was on the 500, this, when, when this was on the 500, the input potentiometer, this germanium transistor just was wimpy. It, it didn't work. Uh, I changed this with something else and it's okay. Um, this is a pretty generic uh, silicon transistor. But when I changed this to a 250, this one just woke up. The silicon that I tried in here was good with the 500 a little bit too gated but when i went to the 250 it was even more gated and it just got real spitty and there was no sustain to it so this is a good choice with this 250 i still have the 500 in the output but we're going to plug this in and we'll go from there let's try it out all right as you can see we have five different transistors to try out uh i don't have the one that I intended to use, which was a 2N404A. Going to get one. Uh, it's still my favorite. But what we're going to do is we're going to try these in here. And then we're going to hook up my other harmonic percolator. And we will try that out to show you what the 2N404A sounds like with a uh, 2N3565. All right, let's put some in. We're going to try this PNP and this NPN. We're going to replace the mystery PNP with this one and you'll see it you'll see what it does.
Okay, we're going to, we took the 557 out. We're going to put that 2SB175 in. It's already in there. So let's try that out now. I think we're going to skip putting the BC-108 in there. It, it kind of stinks, and I didn't like it. Uh, it, especially when there were two germaniums in there. I like a silicon and a germanium in this circuit. I think we're just going to skip switching another one, uh, and we're just going to put my older harmonic percolator in, and we'll see what you think.
I'm sure you can see why the harmonic percolator is my favorite type of fuzz pedal. Um, if you would like to have the schematic for the clipping circuit on the old harmonic percolator that I built, just let me know and I'll put it up on the website. Um, oh, another surprise. I have more Patreon subscribers coming up now. Ah, isn't that awesome? really makes me feel good with all the comments and the Patreon and everything that people are really enjoying these videos and that means a lot to me. I just want to say thanks. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. Um, I'm pretty good about answering uh, all comments. Um, sometimes I'm at work and I am going back to work uh, full time. And I'm going to have a lot less time to do these videos, but I'm still going to try to do them once a week. Um, if I fall behind, please do forgive me. Uh, thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. I really appreciate you liking and subscribing. Just thank you. All right. Have a great day. I think you could see why the harmonic percolator is, I keep saying percolator, it's percolator, percolator, hmm, percolator.